Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Willie V, aka Boy Boy Kennels. Just have a quick tip here. Um, this is actually something I was reading on um, the boards at uh, Mac Rumors. Now, I, I frequent a lot of boards, I like to you know find out new information whenever possible, as any you know any uh, person would. And um, in reading, I was uh, reading about a tip on using QuickTime, which I use QuickTime a whole lot, but um, you know, as they say, you know, even old dogs learn new tricks. Me being the old dog, of course. So I learned um, that when you're viewing QuickTime movies, you can actually, you know, have a movie where I have right now. I just have a regular movie opened up. This is the actual size, but if you do Command F. It'll load it up, click on download info, a little box will come up. And then as you can see, it plays the movie in uh, the full screen here. Along with the black borders because of the size of the window. But what I found interesting was that you can still actually use the same command keys. Command 1, 2, and 3. So... You know, we can do Command 1, Command 2, Command 3. Now, the one that I I found on my own was Command 4, which, you know, if you use QuickTime, it's not on there. But if you do Command 4, it'll actually fill the entire screen. And now, my entire screen is filled. So, I, I did add that um that additional tip to their tip for QuickTime itself on how to be able to use different key commands to use QuickTime in that type of manner. Anyways, hope you all found that useful. I know I definitely did and I'm glad I, I found the command for which fills in the screen as well. As I did mention, I did add that additional tip to their original post. So hopefully others will find it just as useful as I have. Well, as always, this was Willie V, a.k.a. Bull Boy Kennels. And uh, thank you for taking the time to watch.